no. What's good? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Dana, and I'm feeling pretty crappy just today. Um, it's for other reasons. It has nothing to do with training. It's just that it seems like everything that could go wrong today, not everything's gone wrong, but um, yeah, things are things are a lot more difficult today than they need to be. Like for example, I have no service on my phone. So if I turn my Wi-Fi off. I have no service and that just happened out of nowhere i know that my bill is paid uh, i've tried everything i can to get my phone to turn back on and the and i the only reason why it's upsetting today like any other day be like whatever throw it on the couch you know just going about my business but it's because i need the map function i need i need the map and i don't know where this place is so i need the map and i don't know if i'll be able to go because I don't, I can't navigate uh, without the phone. And then uh, I miss another going away. And I'm like, okay, if I'm not supposed to go to going aways, maybe this is the sign. I was back and forth at the post office today. It's just like little things and it's just starting to add up. Anyways, as far as training goes, I feel great. Um, I am, oh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Dana. And I'm just, I'm just ranting. Um, today is Saturday, February 17th. This is episode four of Return to Nationals. If you don't know, I'm a 76 kg powerlifter, national champ 2022, 2023, going in for that three-peat in 2024. 2024 just wants some more, you know? And then um, I compete March 16th, so a little under, right under the four-week mark for, uh, for PA Nets. And training so far has been great. So far, this meat prep has been, has been amazing. The only thing about this uh, this new training block is that my dates of training, my days have changed order. So the way that I remember what day of the week it is, it's gonna sound kind of weird, but if I wake up in the morning, I'm like, well, what do I have for training? I have deadlifts. Okay, I know I deadlift on Fridays. Today is Friday. All day is Friday because it's deadlifts. Now I deadlift on Tuesday just because my work schedule changed and I want my, I want my training schedule to work around my work schedule. So we moved everything around or my coach moved everything around and instead of deadlifting on Fridays, I now deadlift on Tuesdays. And so all day Tuesday, I thought it was Friday. It was just kind of weird. Training is going phenomenal. I'm hitting numbers at, at the beginning of this block that I've hit at the end of my last meet prep block. And you know what I'm not doing? I'm not overshooting. Cause you know what happens when you overshoot? Trying to win the gym will cost you on the platform. How about that? How about, how about that? All right, Try so uh, enough of that. I'm gonna show the raw footage, well, raw footage, and I'm just gonna go over what I did in training. So on Monday, I went to a powerlifting gym in downtown Naha. So this is the only powerlifting gym that I that I know of in Oki. Um, I'm sure that there's more, but whenever I try to do a, a Google search, I can't find anything. There's other gyms around, but as far as having competition spec equipment, plates, bars, combo racks, all that. Um, I haven't really, 
I haven't found anything. So I'm sure that there are, but I haven't seen it. So if you're in Okinawa and if you knew of a powerlifting gym that's open to the public, yeah, let me know. I would love to go visit there. I went there after the Super Bowl. So it took an hour to go there. And that's why I don't go there that much because it just takes so long to get there. And then I train really hard for a couple hours and I have to drive back. And an hour is a, is a very long time to drive, to be on the road um, to and from the gym. So um, I, I just use this for special occasions. Yeah, mainly work out on, on military base and it is possible. I hit a nice little, nice little bench, you know, I'm proud of myself. I, for me, for bench, I know I'm not the best bencher. I know I probably have one of the smallest benches going into nationals in my weight class. I don't have to win bench, I just have to bring my bench up a little bit more so I don't get left behind. We can all, we all have good squats, we can keep up on squats. Bench is where people separate, and then I know that I have a strong deadlift, but I don't have to rely on my deadlift. Oh, I gotta pull 600 pounds in order to win. I don't wanna have to do that. I just wanna have to, okay, what I can load the bar to because you know, I was able to close the gap on bench. I'm like, oh, if I hit this bench, then I could have hit this deadlift and I could have won. I wouldn't have had to struggle with this. I, it, wouldn't have, it wouldn't have had to go like this. So for me, just close the gap on bench and that's all I have. To, that's what I feel like I have to do. Um, just be a little bit stronger on bench and just come out for deadlift and just, you know, put whatever on the bar. What else? Tuesday. So I did that on Monday, squat and bench, and then my Comp deadlift day is on Tuesday. Um, went up to Camp Courtney, which is the Marine Gym. And they have a stiff bar, hex plates, you know, whatever. Whew, it is hot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I got two packages. Uh, this one is from BPN, I'm not sponsored, just let you know. But I did get, a, I was running low on some things, so I just picked up some things from them. So I'm gonna open that, and then I'm gonna tell you what happened on Tuesday. So Tuesday, I uh, went up to Camp Courtney and I was feeling good. Okay, so I've said before in the past that when I, if I pick up an empty bar and it feels light, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have a really good training day. It's gonna be a very good training day. So Monday, the bar weighed absolutely nothing. The empty bar by itself, it felt like, to me, it weighed lighter than this lotion, right? Then on Tuesday, the bar felt a little bit heavier, but it was still stupid light, right? trying to manifest positive energy. I believe that's what's changed. I just feel more confident in myself. I'm trying to manifest. I've been feeling really good in my training in spite of my injuries. So falling down back in September, injuring my back in January. It's been, it hasn't been smooth, smooth sailing, but I think my confidence has been boosted a little bit. And it's not based off of anybody. It's not based off of anything. It's just the fact that I just feel more confident now because why not? Why not me, you know? Started doing my training, started doing my warm-ups, and normally I go bar, one, two, three, four plates, 455, see how that feels, then I go to 500, and then based off of how 500 feels, then I will say, okay, I'm gonna have a good training session or not. This time, it was one, two, three, four, five plates, well, one, two, three, four, five, and a cookie because I'm not gonna pull 495. Give me my 500, give me my extra five pounds. I pulled that, that went okay. Then I pulled 530 and 530 just kind of moved around in my hand a little bit. So it didn't look like a clean, it moved fast, but it looked like something went wrong. That's what my friend said. Multivitamin, a pre-workout, pink lemonade flight. And the last thing I got was strong joints. It's like informed choice, informed sport, which means that their products are tested. If these were tainted, I'm still responsible for what goes into my body. So this just gives that little extra layer of security. Plus, they also offer a 15% military discount. This right here. So this is from Owner Active. Once again, not sponsored stuff. But yeah, training on Tuesday went pretty well. Had a, did I do low pin bench? Yes, I did low pin bench. Bench is just, it's gonna be one of those things. I think bench is gonna shock me the most at, at nationals. No, deadlift is gonna shock me the most, excuse me, for all this um, rattling. But bench, bench has been doing something crazy. And then I did split squats. Uh, did I do split squats that day? No, I think it was that time of the month and I really wasn't feeling like being at the gym for that much longer, so I kinda left. So I missed a day of split squats. 
Okay, from Owner Active, Honor Active, I got, I think I got a little fanny pack. That's a little fanny pack. That's cute. Okay, this is a fleece. This says long, okay? So when I saw that Owner Active had longs, I'm like, well, let me try it. It's ah, my ankles. My ankles are covered. What? I mean, it's still like a little bit of ankle showing, but normally whenever like these fitness brands come out with joggers and, and leggings and stuff, my ankles are always cold because I'm tall. I have a 34 inch inseam. Temple squats, I did my, did my thing on temple squats. I don't have any complaints. Um, Friday, Friday was a two board bench and, oops, I'm sorry. So this is a fleece hoodie. It's got the logo. This feels kind of thick. This would have been perfect like two weeks ago when it was cold. It is now not cold anymore, even though I started this video off in a hoodie. I don't even remember what size I got, but this is So just, you know, this is a little, little, little hefty. I think it's gonna be like 58 in Reno when I go. I live in a warm environment, so anything outside of t-shirt material is, is thick. And it says, raise the bar, raising the bar on the back. This is a, this has gotta be a large or something. Oh, this is a medium? Oh, this is a big medium. Maybe it was oversized. I'm not even gonna try it on. I think it's huge in a medium. I got two shirts. Why would I get two shirts? Man, I'm gonna send one of these back. I bet this is a different size. Nope. Same thing. No, this is a short sleeve. It's made out of the same. This is hefty. So I only have like sports bras and compress and like shorts from them. I don't have any like clothes. This is hefty. This is a medium. Let me see what this medium looks like. Okay, this is a this is a big medium. Okay, so maybe in their stuff I have to size down. Look at how big this is. I think it's, I gotta see if it says if it was oversized or not. But yeah, this is. Oh, here's my here's my receipt. He's like, you're gonna do four or five snatch grips. He's like, for how many? So I was supposed to do ten. Only did eight. because I was losing my grip. There you go. Come on. Had, had 10 in me. Like I said, I'm not trying to go too far and fatigue myself so that I can't squat, bench, or deadlift at the beginning of the week. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything is going. Come to the club, shaking my dress, throwing these balls and these little crime mugs. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out the other videos I have on my channel and feel free to click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and follow your girl on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hey, you know? Because I know. Now you do. Hey.